Hello everybody, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to the Reapers. Today I'd like to demonstrate the loft delivery method in the Heatblur F4E module. Originally designed to deliver nuclear weapons. In my opinion, this delivery method with this aircraft pales in comparison with the F-16, F-18, Harrier, or any other of the modern aircraft. However, it is a way you can deliver weapons on an area target while minimizing your exposure to threat. Today's target is a variety of aircraft and ground targets. There are three things we need to know before prosecuting this attack, and it will require you to use the mission editor to set up waypoints. The first of the three items we'll need to identify is the initial point. A good initial point will be five to six miles away from your target, easily identifiable visually, so you can precisely fly over it. Like anything else with the F4E, the more precisely you fly the aircraft, the better accuracy results you will achieve when you execute your maneuver. In this particular case, I placed a tech combine about five and a half miles to the north of my desired target area. The second item I will need to know is the altitude and location of my target. In this case, we'll use this cargo aircraft here, IL-76, which is at an altitude of 4460 feet. In my mission editor, I want to assign waypoints to both my initial point and my target. We have our aircraft up here to the north. As is common with any mission editing, I'll just add a waypoint on my IP. Not necessary to identify a airspeed or altitude and a secondary waypoint on my desired target. The final important piece of information we'll need to know is the distance from the IP to the target. To do this, I'll use my ruler tool on my mission editor and determine that in this particular case, the target is about 5.8 miles from the IP and note that so I can put it in the bombing table later. You can also input your initial point and target point by using markers off the F-10 map. A detailed explanation of this process is in a video that was put together by my fellow Reaper Cannonball. I'll put a link to his video in the description below. But essentially what it entails is using the gesture menu, navigation, editing a flight plan, editing a second flight plan, adding turn points, and using your map markers. Before we get started, I'll show you the only keybind I use, and that is to bring up my bombing table, which I've bound to an available button on my joystick. All right, let's get set up. Because of the reduced accuracy of this delivery system, I've elected to use 10 CBU-87s, which I'll deliver in the loft mode, against relatively soft-skinned targets. They should be fairly effective. I'll use the bomb table in order to pass this information back to Jester so he can set up our weapons release settings. In this case, the mode of delivery will be loft. I am using CBU 87s. Desired run-in speed, that can be anything you want at this altitude, 530 knots should be appropriate. Uh, run-in altitude can be whatever you like. Uh, in this particular case, I'll use about a thousand feet over my target location, altitude. Distance to the IP is recalled was 5.8. So uh, I will set that here. The target altitude was at 4,460 feet. And I'll choose a loft angle. In this particular case, I'll use 30. 30, I think, will give me an optimum setting between accuracy and uh, distance from the target in order to try to avoid threats. As far as the pattern goes, I'll use a 1.5 second interval. So I'll put 
0.15 seconds in there. Interval will be times 10. I want my first bomb to be on target. And we are set. So I will tell Jester. And I don't know if it's necessary, but I'll tell him the pattern too. And close. Now to set up the aircraft. First thing I'll do is put the flight director on. This will give me a little bit more precise guidance as I conduct my run-in. I've already set the intervalometer to uh, 1.5 seconds by setting it to 1.5 with the interval times 10. Selecting 12 so that when I push my pickle button, all my bombs will release. I've got my weapons release in loft mode with delivery of bombs. The four stations are selected that I'll be wanting to use. Master arm switch is arm and the sight is in air to ground mode. Now, this is not strictly required. The last piece of cockpit information I'll need is this pull up cue. Once I fly over the IP, I will press the pickle button. This should give me a red light. At the end of my pull up timing sequence, the red light will disappear. I'll get a display on my flight director. I will follow the needles with the pickle button still pushed down and at the appropriate time the bombs should be released by the delivery computer. And let's see how this works out. So right now following the flight director in, coming down to my desired run-in altitude of 5,500 feet, avoiding terrain of course, looking for my initial point I think I see it there, pretty much in the center of my gun sight reticle. Coming down to 5,500 feet. Again, when I pass over the uh, initial point, I will push my pickle button, looking for the pull-up cue, following the flight director indications. Weapons should automatically release. I see the tech combine at 12 o'clock. I will want to fly directly over that to maximize my accuracy. And as close to 5,500 feet as I can get. Chester has updated my turn point, correcting my altitude, looking at my flight director, flying over, pull up queue is in there. And that's 520. Just a little bit slow. Going ballistic, 530. There's my pull up queue, follow the flight director. Hold my wings level. And there's the weapons released. Looks like good results. More precisely you can fly the aircraft, the better your results will be. I hope this uh, little demo helps and have a good day. Push out.